people you should be trustworthy among your uh, subordinates or among your people kasi if you are trusted by your men you could be a very effective leader oh, like is of sa combat leadership which is to me is the highest form of leadership is combat because uh, leadership of certain person is tested during uh, crisis situations diba? and combat is a crisis situation so in this kind of leadership you must be tactically proficient Sir. kaya sa training natin sa academy is stability under pressure because in the military which is to me is the most dangerous uh, job in the world uh, you are uh, exposed to a lot of uh, crisis situations in battle during war this is a crisis situation so we need a strong leader who has a strong character character in encompasses everything eh nandiyan yung courage both physical and moral courage nandiyan yung he should be an honorable uh, leader may his, uh, sets of values and iniwala sa mga moral principles he must be trustworthy he must have integrity So, andun lahat yung karakter kasi pag sinabi mong karakter very encompassing eh napakalawak yung coverage ng karakter eh your commission ship as an officer does not necessarily follow that you are a leader because being an officer and a leader are two different things magkaiba yun pwede ka maging official pero hindi naman necessarily na leader ka pero we expect you to be a leader because you are an officer kasi nasabay ko to dahil I have seen a lot of officers na ayun, sabi natin di lack the necessary character to lead people uh, officer nga siya pero he could not even lead a platoon marami tayong senior officers dyan or middle level officers who failed as platoon leaders or as company commander